M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So look at this. Here we are. We're looking at the Zygu X6100, but we're using Tight VNC to log into the Zygu and look at the screen and control some of its settings. So for example, if I if I just change the the power, actually we're in the we're in the um, the menu that controls those settings at the moment. We'll go back and now we'll just change the power. And I'm, I'm changing this on the radio. Now I know that on the radio all you can see is a login screen and we could log in on that. The root, the login is root and the password is 1234 and it's running the Armbian ser uh, server or system, operating system, just because I've got an SD card in there with the image of that system. So, when you see the black screen, that is tight VNC, and we are logged in with two windows. We are logged in. One is the IP address of the Zygu, plus uh, 5901. That is going straight into this, the actual radio that you can see. I know there's no, S, there's no scope. And then 5900 gets me into the actual operating system here. So let's have a quick look, see what we can fire up. We'll just go applications here. Let's open it fully for now. You'll see on the top right that we have got Wi-Fi and we've got Bluetooth that we can log into. We have connected Wi-Fi. We're showing that the radio is on charge. We've got the date there. Uh, I know that further over, if I just slide over there, you've got a uh, speaker and some root commands here. So let's just go to the far left and we'll click applications. Now if we want we can actually view the radio internally just by going, let's have a look, accessories, no, internet, there is there, type VNC view and that get, uses a local IP address so with inside the, the actual Zygu we click connect and we can see the radio and we can, we're can connected in another way as you just saw and you can control as far as I can see all of the functions. So we just minimize that. Now let's go to things, the other things that have been put into this. So we go settings. And I'll, I'll provide you a link to get this image, let's call it. Multimedia, you've got JS8 Core, Pulse Audio, which you obviously need, uh, WSJTX. I'm going to let fire up in a sec. I mean, I mean, I've even been on YouTube on this. I couldn't really hear much, but I've never used Armbian. So we'll just let that fire up. Now, you're not seeing none of this on the radio mm. at the moment, but you could see it. You could see it on the radio if you log in on the radio. But I just logged in on this, like I said, using Type VNC. Type VNC looks like this. Just um, go here. I'll put the link in. Get your free copy. Click there. Download it and run it. And then it just uses you know, IP addresses. If I try and open a new window, for example, which can be done. Oh, look, there's your... Let me try and move that up a bit. FTL, obviously the, the audio isn't configured. You do need to join your two USB cables together on the side, which is the DEV port and the host port, USB-C. Just join them together. Get one cable with USB-C at each end, and then you're, you're covered there. You might need to change how... So how you you view it here? You just go to accessories, settings. There it is. There display. Click display. And I found that if I select number two, then I'm not having a problem to get into these or all the sections I need to be able to see. Because if we go, for example, here, file settings. Uh, and let's try and put in, let's see, if it might work on, because I'm on the laptop controlling this. Yeah, you, you can see the OK button, but you can't on the radio. Uh, Audio-wise, now, by default, I would just go by what's already by default on the image that you download from my link. Radio as well, because at, at the moment, as you can see, we're not actually receiving FTA, and that's because I haven't got the cable connected, because the second I do that, um, I get an error. I'm not really sure why, but I'm going to have another go in a minute. Uh, now that I can control the Zygu without having to plug a keyboard into it, 
Um, I'm going to have another go at getting this working, but I'll do that in a separate video. So the main point of this video is you, you can use, oh, sorry, <coughs> type VNC to log into the Ambien section of the Zygu. And we are talking to the Zygu. None of this work has been done by this laptop or use the separate same IP address, but 5901 and you'll, you can control the radio. Look at that. How good is that? Settings. Uh, I haven't tried to um, the top buttons obviously to tune. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I don't think you can push buttons, but anything that's unless you can. I'm trying to think now. Come out. Uh, you've got the radio one and two. You can see their memories there showing up. If I click ATU, it's not going to do nothing, is it? No, because we need to actually physically push those top buttons. But you've got loads of your memories here. Display settings, radio settings. Uh, if there's more, let me know. So thanks for watching. Uh, I think the next section will be trying to just actually use FTA and have a contact um, on the radio. So thanks very much, 7.3. This is about how to use Type VNC to control your Zygu X6100 from your laptop. 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. All the best.